Good morning. So it's another early morning hunt in Vancouver. We're at English Bay Beach uh, just after the first break in the sun. Uh, the beach is filled up over the weekend with the sunny weather. Um, they left behind a lot of trash, unfortunately, which has mostly been cleaned up. Uh, this is the trashiest uh, beach probably in all of Vancouver, so I'm only going to turn it on when I find stuff because it's just going to be pull tabs and bottle caps everywhere. All right, let's get scooping. All right, first okay signal today. Let's see. What is this? It's a container of something. I think. I can't get it open. It's just a lid from something? That's weird. All right. First clad of the day. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, it's a 1967 quarter with a bobcat on it, or a mountain lion. I've never seen that one before. Well, that's pretty awesome. It's in great shape. That looks, I wonder if that's silver. It really rang up high. That'd be pretty awesome. I'll have to check that when I get home. I don't know too much about these coins. Okay, just to give you guys an idea of how trashy this beach is, this scoop is from this little area right here, and <laughs> we've got bottle cap, bottle cap, pull tab, pull tab, other pull tab, foil, and a quarter. <laughs> And some more foil. Okay, we got a American dime. All right, just unearthed a loony. It's a better sounding loony than I usually get. All right, another quarter. All right, this is funny. This is the second one of these I've found. First one was in way better shape, though. Uh, last year I found this first one. This is a D&D &D token. <laughs> All right, we got one of our dog's old buddies. House key. Got an American quarter. All right, got a loony. That one rang up at 15. Yes, we have a ring. Yes! Ha 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 ha! Oh man, okay. We got a 10 carat gold ring. It's a tiny one, but these early morning hunts are proving to be very lucrative. I don't know why all the gold seems to hide and come out in the morning. Oh man. <laughs> that is my second gold this week. You are kidding me.
this was right after the first gold ring. We got a second ring. Oop, what did that ring up as? Seven. What is a seven in a ring? No markings. Maybe tungsten? Is that, that seems like too low for stainless. That's amazing. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Did somebody just dump all their jewelry right here? I'm literally maybe like a foot away, a couple feet away from where I found the gold ring. Same holes where I found that number seven ring. I'm not sure what metal that is. We've got <laughs> a silver chain or a bracelet. Looks like it's been here for a little while even. This is insane. What? I don't even have any words anymore. <laughs> this is like the most jewelry I found so quickly ever. All right, got a nickel. All right, I think we got some, uh, <clears throat> UK money, 20 pence. And next to that we have uh, 100, uh, not sure what currency that is. It's pretty cool. We've hit an international coin spill. <laughs> so I dumped out the rest of that scoop thinking it was done and we've got some more coins. We've got another 20 pence. Or no, what's yeah, 20 pence. And then we've got um, the smaller denomination of that other Asian currency we found. It's so interesting. <laughs> Bizarre. Anything else in here? Quite a few coins in this one spot. Okay, bottle cap. <laughs> Another 20 pence. Stumbled into a very interesting coin spill. If you uh, were visiting from the UK, I presume, and uh, you wonder where all your change went, it's right here. <laughs> oh my god, another one. Anything else around here? Holy. Amongst the bottle caps. This has just been an amazing, amazing morning. I can't believe it.
that's new. <laughs> Got a hair curler. I don't think that's what that was. That's plastic. I came down to this spot because of this big pile of shells. I figured something had concentrated them here, and clearly there's a concentration. Will this one be? Everything. Okay, I just moved some sand and I think I see it. Yep, got a quarter. See something else in there. And a nickel. This area is really giving it up. Welcome to the wrap up. So this was pretty much the best early morning short hunt I've ever had. Um, two hours just about we've got coins from four countries obviously from canada but we've got the uk korea the u.s we've even got a uh, silver centennial quarter from 67 with the bobcat on it another dnd token to match the uh, less corroded one i found in the same spot last year and some pretty amazing jewelry finds a 10 carat small gold ring right next to that was i'm not sure what this metal is quite heavy rang up as a seven uh replacement wedding band maybe tungsten maybe it is just stainless and it's just very heavy with low tone i'll have to look up and see what that means and uh, this old looking piece of uh, mexican silver bracelet it was very deep uh, same hole as the sil or the uh, stainless ring but uh, much older, had been in there for a while, a little corroded on the welds, or the solder joints. But yeah, that was pretty much uh, a hunt that was well worth it. Got up at five in the morning. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Scoopy Joe, out. <laughs>